There's all sorts of Greek salad going on up here. Country is a place of meeting and connection. When you're here in person, you get to see someone. I know Hannah, but talking to her on the net is different to talking to her. When we put a seed in the ground, metaphorically that putting of the seed in the ground is the putting of a seed in the ground of the future that we want to create. Hi, I'm Leonie Shanahan from Edible School Gardens on Sunshine Coast. It's wonderful to be in Sydney, back with friends from all over Australia that I haven't seen for a couple of years. One's here, here's Jill. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jill today. What am I doing right now? I'm drinking a cup of coffee. Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm based in Hobart in Tasmania. And I work on quite a few different projects involving community composting and urban food growing. I've learned a great new idea for, for feeding chooks when you go away for a couple of days of having a, a run set up where the plants grow and you've got wire on top and they're still getting their greens even though you're not there. What a great idea that is. Really practical. <laughs> This is in Redfern, a boring back lane. Mate, it's unboring because people got sick of it being so boring. That's in Wilga Avenue, Maracol. Um, and that's garden's got its own story. Every one of you develops your life's direction by some spontaneous event where you, were, where you got unfocused on what you were supposed to be doing and you became connected to the infinite possibilities that exist in the present moment. What have I learnt today? Not to live in fear and go with trust. Just having the network behind you and having all of these people. Ecotopia. This event is one big lunch break on the road to transforming place and creating culture. Because every time you save the seed you have a uh, sexual propagation and you don't know mother and father is going to come out. He was going to bring it in at some time. <laughs> edges look the best I've found. We've got to look at it differently and actually feed our soul, feed our heart, feed our body and nurture our kid. And I enjoyed it because I could express myself in the way that I wanted to in the garden. I could learn how I wanted to learn, not out of a textbook. I like, um, I like to harvest my, I like when we get the produce out of it because that way we know we've grown it and what we've done to it and we know it's all organic. For those people that don't know Wollongong, we're a heavy industrial town. Our soils are contaminated by heavy metals. And, and what we've done is we've just taken the best of what works from this. And this is the all this is the yummy stuff, you know, really, literally. Walter Yena and I work with a little NGO called Healthy Soils Australia. I have a lifelong interest in food because I really like eating. <laughs> I'm Megan, um, I'm from Duck Flat Community Gardens in Adelaide, South Australia. I'm concerned about where the food comes from and how all that stuff works and comes together. And this room and this meeting has been full of people that are all share those concerns. Wolf is one of those and it starts with the soil. My name's um, Jill Lee and um, I'm one of Mossman Community Gardeners, which is a group that's been um, set up fairly recently in Mossman to try and encourage people to grow food gardens within walking distance of where they live. So I'm here having a one long big lunch break. The sparking of a thought, here we have it. How do we establish our culture? We've got one rule, personal responsibility. That's it. What to say and what to do. Proud to be with the music as a meeting place. Proud to come. Proud to be.